Okay, wow, this is crazy. So, I got this idea from my friend Joe Gatto from the Impractical Jokers, how he, when he's driving around town, he uh, uses the opportunity to... And half a mile, oh. turn right onto West Sunset Boulevard. Well, there we go. Um, uses the opportunity to talk to people who might be interested, like you guys, hopefully you are, maybe not. I did a Facebook Live thing for the uh, first time yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. So I figured, why not try a Periscope? Um, I haven't used it yet, and it looks like you guys are actually on here. You know, it's so crazy. I, I still don't really know how this works on the other end. Hello. Hi, guys. It's, it's really nice. I think that modern technology has become quite exciting. As long as you use it in, a, in, you know, a responsible way, like, for instance, you know, you don't look down at the camera while you're driving. I think that's important. I'm at a red light so I can look at you. Uh, thank you. Hi from Memphis. Hi, Memphis. Whoever that is. Um, thank you. This is my first Periscope ever. Devin is here. Yes. Thank you for loving my music. I appreciate that. Hi from Tennessee. Hello, San Diego. Hey, guys. Looking forward to playing some music in your towns sooner rather than later. And um, if you stay tuned to my Twitter page and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, I'll keep you updated as to my whereabouts. Um, hope you guys are all having a good day. I'll see if uh, at the next red light if I can check and see um, if there's a uh, any, if there are any questions in particular. Feel free to ask away. I'm trying to think. What, so what am I doing today? Maybe that's what I'll start with. Um, I know what was I going to say. I was going to say that it's uh, it's nice to use technology in a way that makes sense for your life. Um, I mean, aren't you glad that we're not living in a... I mean, it would be nice to have, spend like a day or two in the past. Turn right onto West Sunset Boulevard. See, for those of you who are fans of Hollywood but have never been, I am in the center of it right now. But um, but I think that um, it's nice to, you know, use these things, but uh, it, or it would be nice to visit a location of a time long, long, long ago. But I think it's, uh, imagine not having electricity or indoor plumbing. That would be a bummer. So I think it's good to be where we are. And four miles, turn left onto North Vermont Avenue. Okay, I will. Will do. Looks like there's a fire truck around here. I have to pull to the side. You know who's a boss at this? My friend Christina Milian. She is all about the Facebook Live. She's, I mean, this is Periscope. I'm not sure if she uses Periscope, but she's very good at staying in touch with everyone. Sorry I haven't looked down at my phone in a while, but I'm being responsible. As soon as I can, I will. Looks like I've lost viewers. <laughs> People are bored. That's all right. I'm just getting, trying to get in the swing of things, see if this is worth doing more often or not. Do you guys like this? It's so weird, but cool. Okay. It's allergy season here in Los Angeles. I feel like it's always allergy season in Los Angeles. So I am currently at the corner. I'm, I'm passing the Hollywood Guitar Center where I spent many, 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 many hours of my youth. In fact, I used to uh, work in the back. Um, there was a good guitar builder by the name of Philip Ralph, who, um, oh, so this is what's going on over here, boy, hopefully everything's alright, um, but a, a guitar builder, a luthier by the name of Philip Ralph II, who hired me as his apprentice slash, you know, worker, um, at his guitar shop, uh, in the back, it was called Fretworks, in the back of Guitar Center, so I used to work there. That was my first job, like first kind of regular job when I was 16. Minor hurricane, where's the hurricane? Yes, always pull the side of the road for emergency vehicles is correct. Um, when do I film Penny Dreadful? Uh, we don't film it anymore. It that we we finished our last season um, in March. Oh, I'm glad you liked the Evanston show. I love that drawing you gave me. Thank you so much. Um, yes, my new CD, will it be released on vinyl? I plan for it to be released on vinyl. Um, 
although with vinyl records there's a huge extended turnaround time um, and so I'm not exactly sure when it's going to come out on vinyl it'll probably come out on vinyl after the fact uh, after it comes out on CD and digitally just because it's, it's about a 20 week turnaround time period and I haven't put in the orders yet because I haven't finished my artwork yet so uh, once I finish the artwork then I can start making these orders for you know everything um, I'm, I'm you know bit under the clock right now and trying to get that done in time to have the CDs ready in time. But thankfully there's less of a turnaround time for that. My bracelet, my mom makes my all of my jewelry that I wear for the most part, everything I wear. Um, her company's called Fables in the Air Fables and the website is fablesintheair.com. You can get her jewelry there. Uh, sing something, oh man, put me on the spot. I could, but I don't know if I feel like it right now. Without uh, any sort of uh, context of an instrument or a karaoke track <laughs> but uh yeah all right so not a whole lot of people i you know what you guys periscope i so far i had a lot more viewers on facebook live i wonder is that often the case um do you guys find that you prefer periscope or do you prefer facebook live i don't really know technically i have more followers on uh on twitter than i do on facebook so I'm not sure why there would be more viewers on uh, on Facebook Live. Facebook, you can watch from your laptop. Okay, I see someone wrote that. So does that mean that it's there are more people watching because of that? So, okay, so Periscope is only from the phone, I guess. I didn't realize that because I haven't actually used it until today. But, um, okay. See, this is almost like a FaceTime or something, right? We're like kind of a FaceTime with a lot of people. Hmm. So you guys prefer Periscope, it seems. What would be the most, what, okay, out of all the Periscopes you guys have watched, what are the most interesting things to see on Periscope? Uh, I'm just curious to see if you have any, any suggestions. Zane's? Okay, cool. Yeah. What does Zane do, though? Because I haven't watched many of his periscopes. Actually, I've seen one where he's in the back of a cab warming up. That was interesting. Behind the scenes stuff. Okay. Josh Robert Thompson. I don't know who that is. Guitar setup pedals, cooking, playing guitar. Zane Rambles, Chad Lindbergh. Uh, just to interact, scenery concert shows. Well, to my left is Hollywood High School. A lot of celebrities went to that school. Modular synth video, whoa. Man, I do think, I see someone wrote here that showing someone making music, writing, etc., it's, it's really interesting how things have evolved. I'm curious, actually I got a question for you guys, how you feel about this. I mean, I do think that there is a lot of great stuff on the radio, um, but I'm not certain that there is as much great stuff on the radio as there was in uh, you know decades prior to this one. And I do, uh, I do wonder, I think social media is a great way to stay connected, but I, I do wonder if that has an influence on why things are, um, uh, why writers are maybe not as prolific or moving with maybe at, at times as much depth of thought and care as they possibly did decades prior to this one. Um, and I, I, I know for me, for instance, like, obviously when you're driving, I can't do this, but, um, in you know, in my most prolific periods as a songwriter, uh, I, I would, uh, you know, in in periods of boredom, I would reach for my my notebook that I keep in my back pocket and my pen, and I just write lyrics. Whereas now, in periods of uh, you know idle time, you might reach for your phone and like like a bunch of pictures on Instagram or look through your you know Twitter feed or Facebook messages. That stuff just didn't exist in some of the periods in time in which I was writing the most music most consistently so I do wonder if that's affected things in a slightly negative way so 
I, that goes back to the question about showing people writing. I think it's interesting, like, sort of like with interpersonal relationships and uh, being bombarded, if, especially if you think of in romantically, that sort of way, but with people being bombarded with some of these things that, in advertising and all these things that we're uh, forced to see on a daily basis, I'm not certain that that's necessarily uh, always the best thing to, uh, you know, engage with in terms of the way it affects your interpersonal relationships. Um, oh, maybe it did, but um, uh, I think that uh, writing, um, to show someone's writing process, I don't know that it would actually be totally authentic authentic but maybe it would maybe I should experiment maybe I should try to write a song exclusively while on Periscope and see if that actually makes something uh, maybe I'll make something even more interesting or maybe unique to that experience be kind of cool oh yeah certainly a lot of the things on the radio I mean are, are produced in such a way that you can't really tell um what the artists actually did or how much they were involved. I mean, to be truthful, in a lot of situations, the even if someone's credited to have written a song, um, I'm not totally certain that's... Well, I, I'm not even going to go there, but... Um, I will say that uh, with, um, with my album, that was my primary intention, to keep things as pure and as raw as possible, because the qualities that I appreciate uh, tend to be... Um, the ones that, that can't be um, sort of faked, I guess. or that's, that's not a good way to put it, but I appreciate raw things and authentic things, and I try my best to uh, stay in that sort of zone as much as possible. But uh, I appreciate that you like my music. That's so nice. Yeah, pure and raw is good. I agree. Um, I mean, I like... I think there's something great for, like, something sounding kind of alien and futuristic and there's a lot of there are a lot of cool production techniques that I'm I'm not even aware of how to how they pull these things off and I think they're really cool um but I do like to you know I, I guess I like to be able to pull things off live it's 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 better that way if you can pull off what you do in the studio live I think it's uh it's just it's just I think people want that real connection so that's that's what my aim is to do um I may have to go for now but I will hope to see you guys on Periscope very soon. Okay. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.